welcome back to another video. This is Bruna. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super cute little witch hat. It's just the cutest little thing I ever seen in my life. I'm going to be doing the one with the buckle, but you can also do with the bow just like this one. It looks also super super cute so this is what i'm going to show you in today's tutorial it's for halloween so if you want to do a garland if you want to use this as a little decoration around the house you can so be creative and use for anything that you want i'm going to be doing a garland so this is going to be the very first little item that i'm going to be crocheting for the garland and i have two more tutorials coming up to add to this garland that i'm doing so i really hope you like today's video and let's begin first starting with the materials i'm going to be using so the yarn here it's a mixture um some i don't remember where i got it from because it's just scrap yarn but the main yarn it's Bravissimo from Teslan.com and I'm going to be leaving all the shades that you can see here in the description so feel free to check that out. So you can see the shades for this too but for the following one that I'm going to show you in the video I'm going to be doing with grey and for my yarns I am using different sizes here so the grey one it's a iron worsted it's kind of in between and the orange and the green are DK yarns. I don't mind mixing and matching my yarns but you can use the same yarn weight for this entire hat. It's not gonna be a problem, just follow the same steps. So now let's begin with the actual tutorial. So first I'm going to be doing the cone, the little cone here at the top. So with the gray yarn, we are going to be making a magic ring. And then chain one, in which is not gonna count as a stitch. And then into the ring, we are going to be doing five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now we are going to be closing the magic ring, pull nice and tight. We are going to be working continuously for the hat. So into this very first single crochet, we are going to already create the very first single crochet for the following round. So now you're gonna get your stitch marker and then you're going to be placing into the very first single crochet. So for the second round we are going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch around. So we have the first one already here. So going to the second stitch, the following stitch, single crochet and then next stitch single crochet and then following stitch single crochet so we have four stitches now the last one and then single crochet the beginning here will be a little bit hard but it gets easier as we go up so now we are going to be increasing all the way around for the third round so remove the stitch marker going to the very first stitch and then into this very first stitch we are going to increase so two single crochets into this very first stitch and then place a stitch marker into the very first single crochet that you did for the end here i like to just cut it off because otherwise it's on the way so i'm just going to cut that off and now we can continue so go into the following stitch and increase. So two single crochets into the next stitch. Following stitch, two single crochets. And then following stitch. And then keep on repeating the same until you have covered all the stitches and for this round we should have 10 single crochets going around so as you can see I have finished the third round with increases all the way around now remove stitch marker go into the very first stitch single crochet and then return stitch marker into this very first stitch 
So now for the fourth round, we are going to be creating one single crochet all the way around. So we have the first one. So we are going to also have 10 single crochets for the next, for the fourth round. So going to the next stitch, single crochet, following stitch, single crochet, and then keep on repeating the same all the way around until you have 10 stitches. All right, so round number four completed. Remove stitch marker and then single crochet into the very first one and then return stitch marker. So now for the fifth round, we are going to be doing one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase into the following one. So we have already one single crochet at the beginning. So the following stitch is going to be an increase. So two single crochets into the following stitch. And then the next one is going to be one single crochet and then increase into the following stitch. So two single crochets. And then keep on repeating the same all the way around. And for this round, you should have 15 single crochets going around. You will finish with one stitch right at the end and then into that stitch, you're going to be making an increase. So two single crochets. And now we have round number five completed. So now for round number six, so single crochet into the first stitch and then return stitch marker. And then for the next round, round number six, we are going to be doing two single crochets and then increase into the following stitch. So here we have the first one, so into the following stitch, work one single crochet, and then into the following one is going to be an increase, so two single crochets. And then one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then increase into the following one. So keep on repeating the same all the way around. And for this round, you should have 20 stitches going around. So you should end up with one stitch at the end. And that stitch is going to be with an increase. So two single crochets into the last stitch. So now remove stitch marker and single crochet into the very first one, return stitch marker. So now we are going to be doing two rounds with only single crochets, so following the stitches, having 20 stitches going around. So following stitch, single crochet, next stitch, single crochet, and then keep on repeating the same. So one single crochet all the way around into every stitch. So my last stitch, remove stitch marker and then work one single crochet into the very first stitch, return stitch marker. And then you're going to do one more round exactly the same as the previous one. The previous one was round number seven and this one is round number eight. So single crochet all the way around into every stitch. Just one single crochet into every stitch. So last stitch, single crochet. Now you're going to remove stitch marker, single crochet into the first stitch, return stitch marker. So now for round number nine, we are going to be doing three single crochets and an increase into the following stitch. So we have the first stitch already at the beginning. So we are going to be doing one single crochet into the following two stitches and then increase into the next stitch. So two single crochets. And then again, the same. So one single crochet into the following three stitches and then increase into the next one. So now keep on repeating the same all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end. So I have finished the last round with an increase as you can see. So I'm going to now remove the stitch marker and then single crochet into the first stitch and return stitch marker. 
So for round number nine, we are supposed to have 25 stitches going around, counting this one where the stitch marker is. And now for rounds number 10 and 11, we are going to be changing the shade and we are going to be creating the little band here at the bottom of the hat. And for this one, I did orange and then the buckle in green. So for this other one that I'm doing, I'm going to be doing green for the band and orange for the buckle. So it's just a little bit different. And when changing here, we want to make sure that this bottom section, it's really, really nice and straight. And it's not uneven like here because we are working continuously. So it will be uneven. And for this one, it was quite uneven. So I had to do the buckle here on top. So it's not as noticeable, but I don't want this to be uneven like this. So I'm going to fix this now with you guys into this other hat. And to do that, what you're gonna have to do is to slip stitch into the next two stitches. But remember that those two stitches are also stitches that we are going to be using for the next round. So once that's done, we can chain one, we can cut off the yarn, and we can fasten off and bring the next shade so that we are going to be doing now the little band. I'm going to be doing with the green, but you can do with any other shade that you want. So I'm going to be starting with a slip knot, and then we are going to be attaching into any stitch. I'm going to be attaching here where we have the stitch marker, so remove the stitch marker. So going to that stitch, and then you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So this single crochet will count as the first stitch. And now into the ones with the slip stitches, you're going to be also doing single crochets. So go into the stitch of the slip stitch. Here you can see that we did the slip stitch right here, but we are not gonna get the stitch that we did the slip stitch. We are gonna get the actual slip stitch stitch, just like this. And then you're going to be skipping that one because this one is from the slip stitch and then you're gonna go into the following one. There we go. And now you can just go all the way around creating single crochets. Just one single crochet into every stitch around. So we are also going to be having 25 stitches for this round, for round number 10. So I got here at the end, so this is stitch number 25. And all you have to do now is to slip stitch into the other side, into that very first single crochet. And then you go into chain one, single crochet into that same stitch that you did the slip stitch. This one is the very first single crochet. If you want, you can put a stitch marker. So the chain one does not count as a stitch. And then we are now gonna go around creating one single crochet into every stitch around. So following the same steps as the previous round and also having 25 stitches around. So I got into stitch number 25, so single crochet. And now we are going to remove the stitch marker and we are going to be transitioning from green to gray. So now to transition from one shade to the other, you're gonna go into the very first single crochet and then you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to leave this exactly here. Now you're gonna get the gray yarn, the end of the gray yarn, and then you're going to complete and finish this single crochet, this stitch with the gray. So you can now cut off the green make it nice and tight we are going to weave in this later a little bit tighter so now we are going to be starting with the brim of the hat this section here so now you're gonna go into the next stitch this one front loop only you can see that we have the back loop and the front loop so you're gonna get just the front loop of that stitch and then you're going to pull up a loop and then single crochet now you can make this a little bit tighter just like this by pulling the green and also the gray just make a little bit tight 
and then here you can place a stitch marker when we come back because you can actually see the very first single crochet here and then go into the following stitch front loop only single crochet and then you're going to be doing the same until you have the very first four single crochets remember to get the front loop only and then the next one is going to be an increase so two single crochets into the same stitch, front loop only two. And then you're going to be doing the same again. So one single crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And then into the following one is going to be an increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. And now you can repeat the same all the way around. And then I'll meet you at the end. And then into the last stitch, stitch number 25 is going to be an increase. So now you're gonna go into the very first single crochet. And then you go into single crochet into that stitch. And you wanna place a stitch marker into this very first stitch. And you wanna make sure that for this next round, you have 30 stitches around. If you followed the, the sequence correctly, you should have 30 stitches going around. And now for the following round, we are going to be doing five single crochets and increase into the next stitch. So we have the first one, and now we are going to be using the entire stitch, not the front loop anymore. So we have the first single crochet, so two, three, four, and five. So one single crochet into the next five stitches, and then the following one is going to be an increase. So two single crochets into that same stitch. So repeat again, so one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then increase into the following one and then repeat the same all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end so now I got into the last stitch stitch number 30 so into that one we are going to be making an increase and for this round in which is round 14 we are going to be having 35 stitches around so now I'm going to be removing the stitch marker and then I'm going to single crochet into the very first stitch, return stitch marker. So now for the last round, if you are finishing here, this would be the last round. We are going to be doing six single crochets and then increase into the following one. So we have the first one, first single crochet. So two, three, four, five, and six and then increase into the following one. So two single crochets into that same stitch. And now you repeat again. So one single crochet into the next six stitches. And then increase into the following one and then you can repeat the same all the way around. So this one is stitch number 35 for me so the last one and into this one I'm going to be doing two single crochets to increase and now for round number 15 we should have 40 stitches going around so this is how the hat looks like and you can see that because I'm using a iron worsted yarn this is a tiny little bit bigger than the black one that I did this one I did with a DK yarn so this is the size that you're gonna get if you are using a DK yarn. I can measure just the height, just so you have an idea of what you're gonna get. So it's about eight centimeters with a DK yarn. The worsted iron worsted yarn, it's nine centimeters. It's not that big, as you can see. Let me just check the brim to see if there is any difference. So the brim is 10 centimeters for this one. And for this other one is eight centimeters. 
So that's the difference if you are using a different yarn. The pattern is exactly the same. I'm just using a different yarn weight here. So now you have to decide if you want to keep without any hemming like this one or you can do the hemming with an, a different shade. So basically the same shade that you did the band here. And for this one, I've decided that I don't want to do the different shade around the brim. So what I'm going to be doing is just slip stitching all the way around with the same shade. Now, if you want to do this one, like this one, then all you have to do is to fasten off exactly the same as we did to the cone here. So fasten off and then attach a new yarn and then you're going to single crochet all the way around or you can slip stitch as well all the way around. It's going to be completely up to you. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing for this one. So I'm going to be removing the stitch marker and if you want you can place a stitch marker into this one so you know that this is basically the last stitch. Just, just so you can keep on track. So now for the slip stitches you're going to just slip stitch into every stitch around. Make sure that the slip stitches are not too tight. You want to make sure that they are quite loose so that it's not going to fold your brim in any way. So I'm just creating slip stitches as you can see. And then I'm just going to be repeating this all the way around. So when you get towards the end, make sure that you cover all the stitches before you remove the stitch marker. So now the stitch marker one is my last stitch. So slip stitch into that one. And then you're going to slip stitch on top of the next two or three slip stitches just so that we don't have this uneven spot here. So just a slip stitch and a couple more stitches. I usually do around two or three depending on how it looks. So I did two, now maybe just one more. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really nice. So now we can chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. And now you have to decide also if you want to do the little bow or if you want to do the buckle. I'm going to be doing the buckle for this one. And also, as you can see for this other one, I did slip stitches around. So I just did orange all the way through. And then I attached a new shading place and then I did slip stitches going into the stitches, into the little holes of the single crochets. And then I've tied a little bow at the front of this hat. So this is something also that you can do. So I'm going to first weave in all the yarns that I have here. So now to weave in, you go into thread any yarn into your tapestry needle and then you are going to go into a couple of stitches there we go and then you're going to skip the first one and then go back into those same stitches or you can get a little bit more if you want to just like this and then skip the first loop and then go back into those same stitches that's it so now you can weave in all the other ends and then I will be back to show you how to make the buckle. So now I have all the weave-ins completed. The one right at the end, at the beginning here, I didn't weave in. I just left it hidden just right there. So that one you don't have to weave in. So here we have the hat now completed. If you want, you can leave like this and you can do in many different shades however you want. But now if you want to add a little extra detail, you can add the buckle. So now we are going to be doing that and I'm going to be using the orange. We are going to be using double yarn to create the buckle. So make sure that you have enough yarn, a good amount to make sure that you can do the entire buckle with one strand. So thread this yarn into a tapestry needle. Then you're going to put the ends together like this. And then we are going to be working with a double yarn like this. So now you have to choose the front of your hat. I'm going to do it here. It looks really nice. And we are going to be working in three stitches going across and two down, two rows down. So you're going to first choose one stitch. So bring the needle to the front through any stitch that you want right on top of the different shades. So here I have the green. 
and now you're going to be skipping one stitch and then go back into the following one make sure that you have a nice tail so you can weave in so now we are going to kind of match the stitch below and then into that stitch you're going to be bringing the yarn forward and then backwards into the same stitch as on the other side so you skip one and then go back into the next one so we're basically going to be creating a little square here at the front so now you're gonna go back into the very top stitch this one and then take back into this stitch below, just like this. Now we are going to be making the last one. So go into the top one on the other side and then take back into the last stitch, the bottom one. So now we have to make the little prog here, in which I didn't know that was called prog. So learn something new today. <laughs> so you can choose the side that you want to do. I'm going to be doing here on this side. So you want to choose one stitch that it's here on this side of this loop that we have here, the sewing stitch. So bring the yarn forward and then you're going to be going across like this and you want to choose the size that you want. I'm going to be doing quite tiny, just one stitch as you can see. So I'm not skipping and going into the following one, just the next stitch and then take back. And now our buckle is completed. Check that out, it's so cute. Now we can actually weave in these yarns that we have here at the back. So I'm going to be doing that now. I'm going to weave in this one that is already on the hook and I'm going to weave in here into the green just into a couple of stitches and then I'm going to be doing the same to the other end that I have here and the hat is basically completed so once I have both weave ins completed I will be back to show you all the three hats together and completed how fun and how quick that was to make so so impressed so here we have the hat, the witch hat, now completed. This is my third one actually. So I made black one, as you already saw, and also the orange one. So I have three hats now completed. As you can see, look so cute. Look at them stuck together like this. So pretty. <laughs> and these are the three little items that are gonna go into my Halloween garland. I'm going to be doing two more designs to go into my garland and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I was thinking maybe a bat and a pumpkin and I wanna do them all kind of 3D like this hat. And for example, like this little pumpkin that I have. So I want kind of do them 3D. So let's see how that's gonna go. And do let me know if you have any other ideas that I could do maybe for the garland, maybe, I don't know, a ghost, but I already have that on the channel because I already have a couple of um, appliques, Halloween appliques already on the channel. So I wanna do different this time, not the same ones. So I have a little witch, I have a black cat, I have a pumpkin and a ghost. I think I have these four and if you want to check them out i'm going to link them all in the description so feel free to check it out because they are so so cute and i also made a garland with those and i want to make this year again but this time with 3d designs so yeah i'm pretty excited to share that one with you because i love halloween and i'm sure that some of you that watch me here on youtube love halloween too so yeah this is how you make the first item, the first little design, a witch hat, and I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you end up making one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you post any pictures. Also, if you post on TikTok or any other social media platform, I'm everywhere, basically, Pinterest, Facebook. So just tag me at Bruneticality so that I can see your make. 
all right so thank you so so much everyone i really hope you guys have enjoyed again today's video leave your massive thumbs up if you have enjoyed and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can watch more crochet tutorials just like this one so thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye